how to add the drop down menu into Elementor in this step by step tutorial. Let's see how we can do this really, really fast. Hey, everybody, welcome into the Tech Express. My name is Steven, and I'm going to be showing you how we can do this some actual drop down menu. So, the very first thing you want to do is to go into your actual works section of WordPress. I'm going to go into Leaved. And here, as you can see, I'm already here into WordPress. I want to look out for the actual pages that I wanted to have into my actual menu. So, for example, you have one, two, three, four images that I wanted to have into my menu, but all of them I wanted to integrate them into a drop down menu. So, first of all, I go into Appearance, I'm going to go into Menus, and here what you can do is to create a new actual menu. So, let's go and look out for a menu name. In my case, I already have this one, or I can go into Add to Menu. I'm going to go for Manage Locations. I'm going to hit into Lift, and there we go. So as you can see, you have the theme locator of the header. I only have two menus available in here. I'm going to hit into my Save Changes, and now into Edit My Menus. Let's select our menu, which in my case is this one. I'm going to go back into the home page. And here I want to choose the elements that I want to add into my menu. So let's go for content two, element two seven, and example number three. You can hit to add to the menu. And as you can see here, I already added like this. But I wanted to have all of these elements into my drop down menu of this element of my privacy policy and into my element number seven. So I'm gonna type here, and instead of leaving like that, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna retract this like a little bit like this. So this one is gonna be like a soft item. Take a look into how is the actual name soft item, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with content number two and example number three. And just like that, my soft item should be added like if this was a drop down menu. So lastly, I just need to hit into save menu and edit that into my Elementor editor. So I'm gonna go back into Elementor here into my templates and see how it's going to be looking my actual page of the privacy policy. I'm going to go back into pages. Let's go into my privacy policy and make the edit so we can see if this one has been added automatically. So this is my actual uh, drop down menu. So here you have content number two, content number two, and the elementary has this example. This is just a header that of course I need to change and customize. I need to add a few stuff here, but my actual uh, global section, I just need to click here and make sure that all my elements have now been edited into the advanced mode. But this is how we can do this. I mean, the last thing you need to do is to make the customization, the design and all that. So I just show you how you can do this in a really, really fast way. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. See you on the next video, guys.